his pals Spinner and Paddlefoot in another exciting adventure, Dynamite Fury. I wish I could tell you what's up, Spinner, but I can't. All I know is that we're to meet a man named Rocky Diggers. But where? At the base of the mountain area. If I'm not mistaken, that's our landing field now. Looks well, kind of run down, doesn't it? It's the construction company's private field. That must be the man who's supposed to meet us. I'm sure it is. Howdy, I'm Rocky Diggers, construction supervisor for the dam. I'd know you anywhere, Mr. Cargo, from the picture of you and your adventure logbook. And these fellas must be your pals, Spinner and Paddlefoot. How do you do, sir? Wow, wow. Let's hop in the Jeep and head for camp. I'm sure glad you're here. What seems to be the trouble, Rocky? We're supposed to complete the dam in one month. Everything was going along fine until just a week ago. Suddenly, things started to bog down. We began having landslides that slowed us down. I've lost three trucks this week. All three of them have gone off the cliff. Sounds like sabotage. What happens if you don't meet your deadline? We lose the job and have to pay back all the money we've earned. We'll be ruined. I figured if anybody could solve our situation, it's you, Mr. Cargo. Well, Rocky, that's awfully nice of you, but just what do you think we can do? Find out who's responsible for the accidents, the delays, and weird goings on. Well, of course, we'll do our best. Right, boys? You bet. Thanks. I feel better already. Brakes aren't holding. If it rolls over us, we'll be like pancakes. We have to try to stay out of its way. Hold on, everybody. exciting episode with Clutch Cargo. Clutch Cargo with his pals Spinner and Paddlefoot in another exciting adventure, Dynamite Fury. You remember last time Clutch Cargo and company met a man named Rocky Diggers who told them about losing four trucks in a single week while building a huge dam. As they headed for the dam site, a truck loaded with dynamite began to roll out of control right towards them. Clutch, we'll never make it! We're goners! Hit the brake, Rocky. We made it. Sure hope the driver got out. We'd better see if we can help. driving the truck. Hey, Dogby, come here. Me? Yeah. Okay, boss. What were you doing up there? When the brakes didn't work, I jumped. 
You almost killed us. We were right behind you in the Jeep. Gosh, if I'd have known that, I'd have rid the truck right over the cliff. That wouldn't have been necessary. We don't want anyone to risk his life any more than he has to. That's what I figured. That's why I let her go. That's the fourth truck we've lost this week, and you've been driving each one, Dogby. You don't think I done it on purpose, do you? Of course not, but you could be more careful in checking the trucks before you start. I'll be more careful, Mr. Diggers. I'll go down and see if there's anything left of the truck. We'd better get along, Rocky. We've got lots to do. There's the dam, Fletch. Tons and tons of concrete, steel, and man hours. And there's a crew standing around there waiting to blast, and no dynamite. I see what you mean when you say you're losing money every day. One of our big jobs right now is to clear out that big spillway so the excess rainwater can run off and prevent floods. Where will that spillway take the water? To a huge man-made lake on the other side of the mountain. You think we can look through the dam? You bet, Spinner. That's what we're going to do now. Golly, what a funny elevator. No side. And stay back in the center, Spinner. Don't go near the edge. Lower away, Frenchie. Hold it there, Frenchy. Meanwhile, on top of the huge dam, Grimy Dogby peeks into the control room at Frenchy, the elevator operator. Hey, Frenchy, I'll relieve you so you can get some coffee. Merci, thank you very much. Now, let me see, which one do I pull? Wow, you're going too fast. Stop playing with the controls. <laughs> Will someone pull on the brake and save Clutch and his friends? Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo. Clutch Cargo with his pals Spinner and Paddlefoot in another exciting adventure, Dynamite Fury. You remember last time, Clutch and Company, with Rocky Diggers, construction supervisor of the dam, narrowly escaped death when a loaded dynamite truck almost hit them. Later, as they were inspecting the dam, Grimy Dogby took over the controls of the elevator on which they were riding. Wow! We're going too fast! Stop playing with the controls! Anybody hurt, Monsieur Rocky? We're all okay, Frenchie. What happened? Sorry, boss. No man. Well, tell him to be more careful. We could have been killed. You weren't sent here to relieve me. Why, he's gone. Well, that's it, Clutch. You can see the holes we've drilled for blasting. Now, if we only had dynamite, we could blast and set our dam footings. Without the dynamite, work has to stop. We'll get your load of dynamite through, Rocky. Won't we, fellas? Huh? Us too? We'll go, Clutch. We'll help. Thanks, fellas. We've got to get a load through today. If we don't, it'll be too late. All I ask is that you be very careful, Clutch. Remember all those other accidents. We'll be careful, Rocky. And we'll get that dynamite truck through. I suggest we take a boat and go downstream to town where the loaded truck is. Anybody sees us, they'll think we're going fishing. Swell, Clutch. The quicker, the better. The boat's right over there. Just make sure no one hears of our plan. Oh, no. Grimy Dogby heard every word and is at this time sailing on that cable car to the river side of the canyon. Soon, Clutch and his two companions start downstream in a rubber pontoon. Good luck, Clutch. See you soon. We should be back before dark, Mr. Diggers. 
As Clutch and his two companions approach the narrows through which the river passes, a solitary figure awaits at the cliff edge high above. It's none other than Dogby, the truck driver. That must be the narrows just ahead. When we clear them, we'll be almost there. Why do they call it the narrows? You'll see for yourself in just a little while, Spinner. Lee Clutch, we're picking up speed. Look at us go. That's because the narrower the stream or river becomes, the faster the water rushes. Even as Clutch explains the narrows to Spinner, Grimy Dogby, who is hiding behind a big boulder, is busily engaged in the act of trying to pry the boulder loose. Rapids ahead. Hold on. Okay. What's the matter, Tidalfoot? Look! The boulder! It's falling right on us! <laughs> so long, pals! Oh, no! Hit the deck! What can possibly stop that boulder from crushing Clutch and Company? Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo! Cargo with his pals Spinner and Paddlefoot in another exciting adventure, Dynamite Fury. You remember last time as Clutch and Company and Rocky were talking about getting the dynamite truck through, Grimy Dogby was listening to every word. As Clutch and Company passed through the narrows on their rubber boat, Dogby loosened a huge boulder from above. He's falling right on us! <laughs> so long, pals! Hit the deck! Thank goodness the narrows are narrow narrows. That falling boulder was no accident. Somebody doesn't want us to deliver that load of explosives. We can expect more trouble from the same source. I guess I'll need another plan. Looks like we're in the clear at last. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Just ahead is a small town of Fuseville. That's where we pick up the truck load of dynamite. Hello, you Clutch Cargo and Company? That's us. Mr. Digger phoned me to have a truck loaded and ready for you. Good. I want to check the truck before we start over the mountains. I don't blame you after all those accidents. There it is. I checked it myself. But you can't be too careful. Especially when you've got passengers. Clutch checks every detail of the truck. The explosives, the wheels, the brakes, and the steering. Everything checks out fine. And soon they're on their way. I'll check the brakes on this little hill, just to make sure. Work fine. We might as well go on up the hill, Spinner. Everything's in order. Clutch, there's a chain across the road. How come? They don't want people using it. From here on, we're on a private road built by the construction people. Chain clutch. What's the matter, boy? Okay, clutch. Let's go. We're almost to the top, Spinner. Wow! What a hill! Down. Oh no! 
brakes are out. What happened? The emergency won't hold either. What are we going to do? Nothing we can do but ride her out. fate awaits Clutch Cargo and Company. Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo. Clutch Cargo with his pals Spinner and Paddlefoot in another exciting adventure, Dynamite Fury. You remember last time Clutch and Company arrived in town, checked the dynamite truck thoroughly, then started for the dam site. As they stopped to lower a chain across the road, Dogby cut the truck's brake cable. Clutch and company were driving a runaway truck. We're going over! Yeah! Clutch, we're heading for the dam! I know, Spinner. Hold on. <laughs> We stopped. We're slipping back, Spinner. You climb out and pull the trailer release. I think I can hold it with the low gear. I'll try, Clutch. We're right over the spot where Rocky wants to blast the spillway. <laughs> Hurry, Spinner. We're slipping. Here goes. <laughs> Spinner. You saved our lives. Oh, shucks, Clutch. It was nothing. Congratulations, Clutch. You saved the dam and blasted the spillway area. Most of the credit goes to Spinner. I couldn't have done it without him. Congratulations to you, Spinner. You're a brave boy. Oh, oh, I better scram out of here. Hey, who's that up there running along the top of the dam? It's probably the same guy who pushed that boulder down on us. He's the one behind all these accidents. It's Dogsby, headed for the cable car. Stand back, you guys. I'll drive across the dam and intercept him. Causing all the trouble, Frenchy. Let me take over those controls. Oui, oui, monsieur, with pleasure. Hey, Frenchy, watch what you're doing up there. Oh, oh, oh now give it to him, monsieur Clark. Please, oh, please stop it. I give up. You can haul him in now, monsieur. I think he's at it. Here's your man, Rocky. Grimy Dogby. If he could have stopped you, Dogby's outfit would have gotten a completion contract. Thanks to you, Spinner and Paddlefoot, that didn't happen. I knew I could count on you. We're glad to be of help, Rocky. This dam is going to benefit a lot of people. Yeah, and the next time you build a dam, we'd like to come and help you. Huh, pal? And so ends the story of Clutch Cargo and his pals Spinner and Paddlefoot and Dynamite Fury. Be sure to tune in for the next exciting adventure with Clutch Cargo.